What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. We're in part, I don't even remember because it's been a while since I've played it. <laughs> but let's have some fun. Oh, yeah, I gotta go back to the hideaway. So it won't let me go anywhere else. What the hell? Where are we doing? Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Wow. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. You rest. Fine. I'll rest. No more to give. She's in good hands. Look, we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question is, where is he now? And what the hell were those royalists doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The Lawsman? About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any fall, oh, that's right. That before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is what happens afterwards. I forgot that Torgal did that thing. Our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill, right? Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill, listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. It's up to me now. Bolts from the blue. Whatever that means. The power of Earth. Clivus claimed a portion of the Icon Titan's essence. Oh, that's right. I also fought Hugo in the last episode. Attuning with Titan not only changes the element aspect of Clyde's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Windup. But the one I'm most happy about is the block. Titan Titanic block can be used to fend off most incoming attacks using R1 immediately after a perfectly timed precision block will initiate a devastating counter. Oh, happy day. How do I... Oh, yeah. Do I want these three? These two were really cool back then, so yeah. Back in the demo, back then. Let's see. Do I have enough points to do anything? Mmm. What are these? Raging Fists. Oh, damn! Upheaval. I think I might get this one. And master the hell out of it. And that means I'm... Oh, I should have gone this way. Raging Fist. Ooh. Nectar, you got some more stuff to do? Ooh, you got at least one. Muddy Murder. Rumor is spreading throughout... Oh, it's an A rank? Rumor is spreading throughout the southern reaches of Rosaria of a pool of opalescent ooze that has been sighted in the moors and meadows of the region. While it resembles not but a puddle of strange sludge from a distance, any man or beast that draws too close is met with, a ma with masses of slimy hands that drag their prey into a gaping, grinning maw. Is this what we found, or is this what we want for our children? Think about the children. Hello, the children. I'm gonna have to go check it out. For another of my matches. 
What is it that you wish to learn? What can we learn, lady? A comprehensive grid of important persons in their respective relationship. I read that before. Again. Again. No. Oh. Wait, what is this? What am I doing? Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmekia's last line of defense. A fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. All for me. And so he and his men I think she explained this in the last episode. To the province, but to draw you out. So she just repeats everything. Everything important that I need to know. Did I get anything from this person? How Any other items? Today, Clive? Is everything we've received and everything no. promised? Best of luck out there, Sid. I guess. All right, Otto. What you got? Otto. Is now a good time? Is it ever? It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Who are you? Mid. When did you get back? Mid? Just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right, you win. How long will you be staying this time? Don't know. A while, most likely. Any road, while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to... Please, oblige her. Uh... While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. <laughs> I like mid. I'll take that as a compliment. She is a breath of fresh air. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. <coughs> Everybody's all morbid but her. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. 
No? Oh, okay. I have a tempest within me. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little. Clive just walks off. I wonder what Mid's plotting. Can I look at the map, please? Please and thank you. What do we got? No, not this map. There we go. Um, what is this? Reading table? Is that in my chamber? I'm gonna go just to check. I think, if I remember right, I got some kind of item for my sword or whatever, but I don't know if I can upgrade it. But we'll just go check. And also want to check the tomes, guys, seeing how he probably wants to know. And I want to get some knowledge off him. Is there something I might assist you with, Clive? Let's go out and crawl. I have a few new notes that might interest you. Hopefully, some about. Ah, oh, sad. Wish to study the tomes. Ooh. Clive's faithful friend who is fiercely protective of him and his allies when Jill came close to death in the courtyard of Rosalith Castle. Something awoke within him, transforming Torgal into something akin to an icon. Is that all we know? You little puppers. So cute. Ah. <sighs> Door to the shelves shall ever be open. It's a lot to read. <coughs> hey, yo, lady. Is it business or pleasure? The uh, business. You are not something in good I want it. And want it. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh You'll not find a better price than that. You're robbing me blind, you know. You're robbing me blind. Is that all? Yes. And I I doubt that I'm gonna have to be able to upgrade anything then. What do you want? What do you want? Yeah, cause I already got all this flame tongue storm cry. Blah blah blah. Yep, nope. Wait, what's this? Drake Slayer's bracelets, gelatinous mass, and scarletite. Only when she saw the Drake no longer stirred and his eyes were gray with oblivion did she remove belt and bracelet, casting them into the worm's maw where they might rest for an eternity. Oh. Uh... I can't do anything right now, can I? Whoa, what is this? You can reinforce the Traveler's Bands, but that's poo! <coughs> what do I plant? I'm sword. Poo! Mm. No, I can't do anything. Alright, let's continue. Screw that. Screw it! Some Someone sending me letters? Apologize for what happened at Rosalith. I fear what might have been had not you, Gavin Torgal, fought so fiercely. Once again, you were there when I needed you most, and for that I shall forever be grateful. Seeing the city I had once come to know as my home reduced to flame and rubble has left me with such sadness in my heart. But the time for looking back is beyond us. We must focus on here and now. Our memories will be waiting for us when this is all through. Okay. Okay, I can get there from this way. Excuse me, everybody. I'm gonna talk to mid. What up? You took your time. 
I, I'm a busy man, mate. For real. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mate, you've only just come back. And I've been thinking about it for a while. She's a go-getter. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. He told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. It's sick to see you now. All right. I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First God, first, don't I sound so angry, Clive. Just materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff be I happy. Use and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. Jeez, Clive. Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Also, hold on real quick. No, that's not it. Whoops. Mididol Telamon. Okay. Daughter of Sid and student of engineering at the University of Canver. From a young age, Mid showed the same passion for invention as her father and an even greater aptitude. She is as well versed in the secrets of modern and fallen technology as any scholar in the twins and means to put that knowledge to use in service of the hideaway. Okay. I'm pretty sure Sid did mention that he had a daughter back in the other videos, in the past videos. Maybe. I don't remember. But once she started talking about like engineering and stuff, I'm like, oh, that's that's got to be Sid's daughter. Because <laughs> most all the Sids in Final Fantasy are all like engineer jockeys or whatever. Final Fantasy 14, 7. I don't I don't yeah. think there was one in 8. Well, At least I don't remember. 15. 9? I think 9 had one. 4, obviously. God. Jill looked white as a sheet I was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This lot. Would be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment. It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have not to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. So nice. Wait. You have something new now? What can I do for you? Don't you lie? Ooh, yes you do. But it's not as good as my Drake Slayer's belt. Neither is that. Is that all? Just making sure. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you. From Mid. She requires certain tools. Think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? 
That would be awesome. Yes. So I'll bring them over when I'm done. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. Hmm. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Do you have something new? What do you want? Ooh, ooh, what the? Fifty-eight to, uh, to buy. And the platinum cannons. What do I have right now? I have the platinum cannons, right? But the hunter's arms claws are like better. I don't think that one's better. Let me see. That one's definitely not better. But. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. Nope. Nope. Yeah, but this sword though, mm-hmm, by just five. <laughs> and when he lifted his fist beneath them, was found not but dust. Levin bolt, Urshard, meteorite. No scratches, all right. Look at that sword. Oh, am I going the wrong way? Uh, Oh no, they're at the bottom, aren't they? I hope you're right. Jill looked white as a sheep. Going down. This way. With a good oil in this could should be enough to keep. How do, Master Sig? Bard off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can, but mm -hmm. I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I gladly spare mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, what have to. You want me to go That's all the way right. over there? And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolph. <laughs> Least I could do. And here we go. So now I gotta go over there. Before I go, I'm gonna go check that hunt board again. Cause I don't I don't think it said where that monster was at. At least I don't think so. Hmm. Nectar. So it did say Hawks Cry Cliff Rosaria. All right, Nectar. Here I goes. Try to go to Martha's Rest or go here first. Let's go here first. Let's go fight this biz niche butthole. Ambrosia. Come on. Okay, now. Whoops, that's the wrong button. This one. I don't. This is Hawkscrow. So it's, it's gotta be 
somewhere right here. Faster. And now we're on the hunt. Torgal, you crazy mutt. I love you. Whatever you turned into was awesome. Just don't do it too much. I don't want nothing to happen to you. <clears throat> okay. I forgot how to fight. Oh, that's what I miss. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, I love that block. Out of him, oh my god. Oh, I forgot that that was that's got a special thing. Oh, he broke it. Ah, I love doing that. Oh my god. Man, I remember how to play. You chickens come to play too? Puppers. Ready, go. Of course she is. Let's see. Maybe I should check right here. Doesn't look like there's anything. I would have probably seen it. I didn't mean to do that. I don't see anything. Bye, girl? Oh. Oh! Oh! Found him! Alright, you gross. Ooh. No. When you got Perry, you bitch. Oh, let me get out of here. Ah. 
I dare you. Oh, wait, I forgot. the shit out of him in the face whoa don't you do that Ouch! Oh, that did not block. That you ugly. I can't see nothing. Oh, 
Oh! That was close. That was close. I did a lot of mess ups. No, oh, but I leveled up, I think. Damn, 5,200. I almost leveled up again. Yes. Yes. Oh, there it is. The Wild Flan ex ex excretes a, sick a sickly sweet viscous ooze that is meant to lure would be predators into devouring it. At which time. The powerful toxins within its flesh will paralyze the victim, allowing the flan to envelop and slowly dissolve it over a period of 17 nights, up to seven of which the victim spends alive. Wow. But I stood now. Whatever it was. Whatever it was. Okay. Let's see. Can I? Yes. We did it, my boy. Well, you don't want me to hug you? When did you get so big? <laughs> Good boy. What are you after? Mm hmm. Stuff, I guess. Nah, nah, nah. There you go. Thanks very much. There you go. Two goblin coins. Take care out there, eh? Will do. Ah, Clive. What brings you to the rest? Ah, uh, home find itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. And now, where do we go? Where are we going? Um, a place where I haven't been yet. Come on, Torgal. Here we go again. Ambrosia, I need you. Oh, there she is, good girl. There you go. I'm not here to fight. <clears throat> I just want this. Nope, here we go. I should have drifted. There we go. Sorry, spiders. Not today. I said not today! Not today! Am I going the right way? Yeah. What? A chronolith is detected nearby? You guys need to get out of here. I just want to look at this. Fine. 
Finally. Is this the thing? Can I not do anything with it right now? The Hand of Hyperion? <clears throat> well, whatever, I guess. That was a waste. But we're almost there anyways. Let's go. What are you doing over here, Skippy? Hi. Hey, the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? in a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. Well, that there is Cressida. Where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. It's at my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could, uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. Slay all the creatures. All of them. Done. Oh, that's not... <coughs> Here we go. This is the one I wanted. You bring in some new enemies. Let's see how they fare. Vampire Thorns? Stupid Petey Piranha lookalikes. I think I hit it at the wrong spot, but it still worked out. Come on. Nope. Screw you that more enemies, God. Whoa, what is that? Let me just go pick up this and then get scared. I'm scared. Whoa. Damn. Why don't you calm down? Ooh. Oh, you need a quit. Nice try. Ha ha. Get down, birdie. Multiple gut punches. Uh, 
Ouch. Woo! That you stupid. Torgal, how are you doing that on your own? Whoa. He didn't have to do that. He was almost dead. That was like almost overkill. But it's still nice to see. should do it <laughs> you made short work of that lot thank you son now my folks can rest in peace once more look at all the VVs they have over here the village was abandoned well people started packing their things after the duchy fell between the blight and the Imperials you just couldn't make ends meet must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Damn. Well, may as well have been a century. Looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past. No matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. You better be there. I didn't do all this for nothing. Little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. For real. For real. For real. Got that done. Got that done. Did a hump board. Mid. We're in the same spot. Yes, you are. Littlands have been up to their old tricks again. I did it, Nectar. You should be, you should be happy. Yes, yes. Just killing everything. I don't think I have enough. I think the next one's like two ninety-five renown points, and I think I only got two fifty-five. If I remember right. 255. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? Should have mid or whoever you are, Laszlo. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Clive. You've all done then. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. We did it, and I leveled up twice. Ooh, my renown. Oh, that's so good. Good stats. Good stats. The breath of... Er, what? Residual earth aether that, having failed to dissipate on the battlefield, has instead manifested into a solid form not unlike crystal, but with an elemental purity that renders it far from potent, if not highly specialized in its applications. Reduces wind. Yeah, I don't use wind up. That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Oh, it looks like there's a lot of side quests. <laughs> it just popped up right two and you know what i'll probably leave this video right here i'll probably probably continue on the bolts from the blue here and then the two side quests in the next one 
So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, please. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one.